Well, hello, curl friends and guys. Welcome back to my channel, The Silver Crown. If this is your first time stopping by here, thank you so much. I hope you will subscribe and recommend my channel to your other curl friends and guys. And also, when you subscribe, there's a little button right next to the subscription uh, button. It's a bell. If you click on that bell, you will get updates every time I do a video. And uh, hopefully, you'll find out something that you didn't know or be willing to share something that you didn't know that I didn't know because Lord knows I don't know. Okay. So anyhow, and for those of you that have been tracking with me for the last year plus, uh, thank you so much for hanging in there with me and going through this very unusual hair journey with me. Unusual to me, probably usual to most of you. And uh, thanks for coming by again. So today I wanted to um, just update you on what happened the last time I did my hair. The last time I did my hair, I washed it and um, I used this Shea Moisture Black Jamaican, uh, Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Grow Leave-In uh, as my, oops, I can never do this right. There you go. As my leave-in conditioner. And then I used this Smooth and Hold Pudding by ORS. Now, I have had this for a while. But I used it one time on my hair when I was transitioning, and oh my gosh, um, my hair felt like, I don't know what it felt like. It felt like it was just going to break off, like it was so brittle, it was going to break. So I was going to give it up, and um, I was encouraged to hold on to it until I'd done my big chop and try to use it then. So I used this the last time I did my hair. And I sealed my hair with a mixture of my, my homemade um, shea butter mixture that I mixed. When I made the mixture, all I put in it was vitamin E to help preserve it. And I think I may have put a little bit of, oh, I put almond oil. And that was it. So because I wanted to be able to change the fragrance if I wanted to, what I usually do is I'll take out two teaspoons out of my mixture and put it in this little dish here. And then if I want to mix any other oil with it, I do it in that little dish. That way, I don't have to concern myself with, is it going to cause it to go rancid on me, you know, sooner than if it didn't have anything in it. So I use my shea butter as a base, and then I put whatever I want in it. Anyway, saying all that to say that that's what I use on my hair. Well... <laughs> I'm back in Canada. I'm back in my RV. When we got back here, we discovered that our hot water tank had literally blown up. <laughs> so we had been waiting to get our hot water tank. And in the meantime, it's been real interesting getting my hair done and washed and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, I did get my hair done the other day, like I said, and um, which has been, I guess, four days ago. Now, I don't know. Whenever the last time is I did that video. But um, and my hair, this, well, look, well, you see it. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Oh, somebody help me. I don't know what to tell you. When I got up this morning, uh, first of all, I took my twist out yesterday. And when I took my twist out yesterday, it, it was okay. But then I got real busy trying to help my husband with his videos and he was trying to record, re you know, putting in a new hot water tank for our RV and all this kind of stuff. So my hair was out, but I didn't get a chance to do the video and I didn't get a chance to do anything with my hair. So then I ended up wrapping it up in a satin scarf and going to bed. And then, of course, lo and behold, I wake up this morning, it's raining cats and dogs outside. So all my very defined curls that I had that I thought I was going to be able to hold on to for my smooth and whole pudding. Yeah. So all I did was I took out my little twist and then I I saw someone use a technique where they grabbed their hair, they held it taunt, and then they just went into the root and just lifted. Well, that's what I did, right, earlier this morning. And it was, it started getting a little bit frizzy. Well, now it's, it's just raining. It's been raining all day long. So <laughs> anyway, tell me what you think. <sighs> anyway, I, I know I look frustrated. I'm just, I think I'm bewildered <laughs> because I am trying to get to know my hair. And it seems to me 
that every time I do it, something different happens. So I really don't know my hair yet. I'm trying to get this thing figured out. My hair is like a woman, okay? I mean, you know how we can be. Very unpredictable. So, um, I don't know what to tell me about myself. So you tell me, does, does humidity affect your hair? Because I, I was under the impression that if I put olive oil on my hands or some kind of oil on my hands before I took out my twist, then it would cut down on frizz. But as you can see, see the frizz? I mean, that's frizz, y'all. That looks like snow, okay? And it was so frizzy that I had to pin this over to the side just so I didn't scare myself if I passed a mirror. I'm just saying. Anyway, leave your comments in the comment section below. What do you do? What do you do to help minimize frizz? And whatever you do, does it help when it's very, uh, a lot of humidity outside? Because I need to know your tricks and stuff because I don't know. I'm new to this and I'm telling you, it's been a crazy wild ride. Anyhow, <sighs> there you go. That's my story. I'm sticking to it now. So let me know what you think. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Thank you for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Hit that notification bell for more updates. And I will see you in my next video. Have a good one.